Hi, so we're still trying to get to evening. This is like the fourth video and we still have not gotten to evening. We just need one fish and we can do one recipe and then I'll be happy. And then I can go and, you know, if I want to, I can watch the next episode of Zorro. Which, actually, I probably ought to wait to watch that one. Because, um, I don't know if you know who he is, but Cesar Romero played the very first Joker in the Adam West Batman series. Um, he's the only one that played Joker in it, but, uh, he played the very first Joker. That, as far as I know. And... Um, he's in this episode, well, he's in, like, four or five episodes, I think. I actually don't know, because I started watching them on satellite, like, back in the 2000s, and you know, they had this thing called Vault Disney. You know, so they brought things out of the vault to show everybody. And I love Zorro. Uh, that's where I found out I love Zorro. And Guy Williams was a good actor. He had a bad habit of smoking off camera. But, um, better than that. Well, actually, um, the only reason why I know that is because they recorded his interview. And he was smoking. But, um... You know, and I, I don't like smoking, but that's just me. Um, so, so, um, you know, Cesar Romero plays Uncle Esteban on some episodes of Zorro. And I was gonna go and watch them... Well, my husband's not home, and then I'm like, well, wait a minute, he might want to watch it because it's got Cesar Romero in it, so I don't know, and it's not like I can ask him, you know, hey, do you want me to hold off until you're done with work, because he won't answer until break time, and then, you know, I mean, yeah, we could always back up and watch it again. But, did I get a full inventory again already? Oh my goodness. Anyway, so, so we could watch it again, but, but, you know, there's a lot of episodes in season two as well as season one. Um, like, you can buy the episodes on Amazon and whoever's selling them because I don't think it's Disney or Amazon themselves but whoever's selling them has like season one for 200 something and season two is 300 something or vice versa when those two and it's like what the heck they're not made out of gold um, no, I can't put that in there. Well, I can put the wood in there. Well, as it turns out, I have to go to the bathroom, so I will be back. Although, I'm going to take my character outside. Um taking her outside so maybe it will actually finally turn to um evening looks like it's trying to but the sun is still sitting there so I don't know but I will be back okay I'm back Sorry about that. Um, it's still 
not evening enough. I don't think. I'm so happy Eric's here. Me too. I'm not trying to steal him away from you or anything, but your man's cute. So, so, out of cartoon characters, I actually like the way Eric looks and the way Flynn Rider looks. I don't like Flynn's attitude at the beginning of the movie, but, you know, after he realizes he likes Rapunzel and starts talking to her like a person, I, you know, I like him then. So, um... I was going to say, where'd Bunny go? Um, that Bunny had a name before. I think. There's got to be some less mundane mundane things that we can do. Wait, I believe I named that one chocolate. Or brownie. No, I think I named her brownie. Named her brownie. Um... Let's see here. I mean, we can mine, but we really don't need to mine. Or maybe we do, and I just don't know it. Like, maybe we need to, you know, get mining memories. I don't know. Oh, okay, so while I was up there, my phone rang, and I totally didn't even think to check it. Just a moment. Okay, so I got a text message from my sister, but I can't, I can't say that is the phone call that I got, but it could be. I don't know. So except for the, the blue and except for the blue headband I have tried to make my character except for, you know, not the blonde hair. I have made my character look like Sandy from the movie Grease at the end of the movie. You know, where she's bad Sandy. Those are her words. You know, um, something about, you know, she thinks of, you know, the, the Sandy Olsen Sandy as, you know, good Sandy. And then, you know, the, I'm um, getting my man, whether he likes it or not, Sandy as bad Sandy. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so it's still kind of afternoonish. I don't like that. See, the moon is there. It should be evening. 
So maybe it's one of those fish that you have to fish for in the evening in the rain. That's a catfish. Sometimes life's not fair. You best remember that. That's so rude. Basically, he's lucky that I can't fish for Scar. I mean, you know, that I can't fish for lions. Okay, so I guess it's not evening yet. So what else can we do? I don't know, just because we can. Oh, and so, so I was on the... Um, the live stream for Tinker Lily earlier and somebody said something about Cinderella's castle. Well, I'm guessing that this castle is generic enough that it's a Cinderella castle or a sleeping, I mean, that it's a Cinderella castle and a sleeping beauty castle all in one. And a whatever princess the other parks have as their princess. Um, but I was thinking, you know, if it's based on Disneyland at all, then it would be. The Sleeping Beauty Castle. But not everybody knows that it's not one and the same, you know? I don't know. So, I'm trying to get it to be evening. I'm doing whatever I can to get it to be evening. And I may delete... A couple of these videos even though I did pick up stuff because it just doesn't seem to be getting dark fast enough <clears throat> oh my goodness Okay, um, let's see here. So it looks like it's finally getting to be night. So I think I will just put this right here. And, oh, and go to inventory. Actually, I don't have to go to inventory. <laughs> and put all the flowers in here. Eggs. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Sorry, Mickey. I don't want to make you stand up. Okay, so it's should be evening now. Whether it is or not, it's a different subject. But see, it's getting uh. 
sunsetty over there. Sunsetty is not a word as far as I know, but I feel like I'm an author. I can make up some words if I want to. So, I'm trying to find out. Dang it, that's a catfish again. So, I'm trying to figure out on my stories whether, whether um, Lost Memory actually has the part that I'm looking for which is Ashley being born because I don't know if I'm going to break it up and have a book between um, between Lost Memory and another book called Amnesia or if I'm going to have and there's a reason yeah, why they're right. the ocean's a friend of mine. You know, there's a reason why they're similarly named but um i don't know if i'm gonna have a separate book or if i'm just gonna go and make that one um or if i'm gonna make that one be its own book and then have the uh, you know have another one another time because um because in Amnesia, and if it's a separate book, that is going to be the title. Um, anyway, in, in Amnesia, Chantel is, I mean, uh, Morgan is pregnant with Chantel. That, that's a better way to put it. Um, Morgan is pregnant with Chantel, but she's got, you know something wrong with her I don't know what that she's wheelchair bound so you know Chantel will survive as long as she stays in the wheelchair well that's fine you know so she does that but then she gets this mysterious email from this person I really don't care at the moment it said forced valor in this direction uh wait yeah forced valor in this direction wow I didn't even read it. Totally made up what it said, and that's exactly what it said. <laughs> wow. It's kind of funny. Anyway, so um, she gets this mysterious email from somebody claiming to be her mother. Well, she thinks her mother's dead at that point, too. So it's a little weird that her mother's, you know, supposedly emailing her from beyond the grave. Well, she tells Hayden that, you know, she doesn't know how she feels about this, but if she's still alive, she wants to find out. So, it ends up that they claim that they're Katie Bell and that they're in, um, I mean, and they're supposed to meet her in Ireland in uh at the hotel in town on the third floor where there's supposed to be a banquet hall but i actually didn't build that in my um i didn't build that in my minecraft world yet i haven't finished the third floor so i can still put it in but i just haven't built it yet and yeah well, they go there, and it's um, Morgan and Hayden, but William and Kat have gone with them just, uh, you know, just as a backup plan. Because, you know, what if it's really bad guys instead of Katie? So, they go inside, and... 
they find out the elevator's out of order. It's got a sign on it saying, take the stairs. And so they go upstairs. Uh, Hayden carries her part of the way. And William carries her part of the way. Anyway, they finally get up to the third floor. And no, you cannot have more raspberries. Anyway, they finally get up to the just a moment. So I don't know what that call was all about because uh, I said hello and then she says hello and then nothing. <laughs> and then it hung up. So, yeah. Anyway. So I am seriously hoping that my husband and I can go to Costco after work and get some foodstuffs. And that hopefully he'll bring home some mayonnaise. So I'm, I'm not out, but I'm running low. I have a sandwich every single day. Um, you know, sometimes I would like to have something else, but at the moment, I'm just happy to have food. So, I'm good. You know, I'm going to make myself a turkey sandwich, and it's got mayonnaise and mustard, and turkey on sourdough bread, and occasionally it has pickles. Still pickles you know and it's good and it's the Costco brand bread and the Costco brand turkey so they go good together and um, you know that's what I have for lunch well we still need to work out breakfast <laughs> And also, we need to buy something for dinner because we totally ran out the other day. So last night we had in and out which was our treat for the paycheck. <laughs> I'm sure. I know what I'd like to have if... It, you know, if we had enough money to do so, I'd like to go to Panda Express, but that's probably not going to happen. We're still waiting for evening. Apparently it needs to be darker. Because I keep fishing, and granted, I keep fishing in the same spot, but it says everywhere. So that means I should be able to go down there fish, get the fish I need, and be done with it. So, we're doing mundane, boring things, hoping that it'll get to be evening, and it's been like four videos, and it's not evening yet, yet the moon is going up over there, where'd, where'd it go, where'd it go, right there. Right. Yeah, right there. Okay. So the moon is over there. The sun is still, like, right there in the middle of the sky over there. So I'm confused, but. So I'm waiting for it to get a little darker. Anyway, I like Chinese food. And if I could have it, I know it sounds weird, but I would like to have um, some Chinese food from the Chinese food restaurant. 
you know, I mean, from Panda Express, you know, like, a little bit of orange chicken, a little bit of chow mein, fried rice, um, broccoli beef, of course, the fortune cookie, but I'd also like french fries from in and out um fried chicken and and mashed potatoes and coleslaw from from what you call it um KFC Um, a Frosty from Wendy's. Although, I don't think I could have a Frosty from Wendy's anymore. It sounds really good. I really want it. But, I don't think my stomach will like it very much. Um, so maybe a Sprite Lemonade from McDonald's. Like, the only thing that I could have from McDonald's that doesn't give me indigestion. Um... I know, that sounds horrible. It's not their fault. It's my stomach. Although, it might be their fault, but I'm going to blame it on my stomach. Um, it, it's weird. You know, we moved here to, to, to Tahoe. I mean, um, not to Tahoe. To Carson City. And all of a sudden, my stomach cannot handle McDonald's anymore. And it doesn't like, I'm really bummed about this one. It does not like Chick-fil-A. It doesn't like Sonic. Um, it mostly likes Burger King. Um... We can eat at Burger King and Taco Bell. And now that the pandemic's over, I don't know why, but okay, so like anytime we had the hot dogs during the pandemic, I would toss my cookies. And I didn't like that feeling, so... We stopped eating them for a while. But now that the pandemic's over, I can eat it again. And for some reason, every time we had the um, chicken bowl, it's like chicken and mashed potatoes or something like that. I can't remember. But I know there was chicken and mashed potatoes and there's cheese in there. And every time I ate that, bleh. So, you know, I'm not going to have that again kind of thing. And, uh, so, you know, that was every single time I had it. And I'm like, there's no reason why I should be having that problem. Well, with the cheese bowl, maybe my my body was saying, uh, excuse me, you're not supposed to be having cheese. <laughs> you know, so I can be okay with that one. But, <sighs> okay, let's try again. If it gets to be, you know, like, dark kind of evening and I still can't get that fish. If it, if it gets to be dark kind of evening and I still can't find that fish, then, you know, I will start going to other places.
So my husband volunteered to stay at work until closing yesterday. And they let him. <laughs> so even though they're not supposed to have overtime there, they authorized it so he could um so he could be in his department until closing because they weren't gonna have anybody. And then the the um the store manager on duty was going to have to do that and run the rest of the store, which, you know, sometimes includes getting people their change because the team leads don't don't do their jobs or they can't be at, you know, all their, you know, you know, they can't be in like three different places at once is what I was trying to say just now. So, um, you know books are in the windows to the world? yes, I wonder what the doors are. Probably doors. <laughs> Did you really just say that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, um, anyway, so he, he wanted to make sure that the that the store manager on duty wasn't going to have to, you know, wasn't going to have to be running around like a chicken with his head cut off. So he's, he volunteered to stay and it was a little scary, but I got through it. Cause you know, like, like, I don't know why, possibly cause my parents got divorced, but I, got like issues of if somebody took me somewhere in their car that they might leave me there and I'll have to walk home and I may not be able to find home or not be able to get in when I get there or something and it's you know it's stupid kind of because you know it's kind of stupid because why would they do that Although that did happen to me one time. The guy, the, I was not dating him. It was just a friend. Um, but he asked me to go to the back doctor with him. And I did. And then he just leaves me there. So my husband had to go and get out of work and go all the way to Reno just to pick me up. Because, because, you know, our... Um, friend. Well, he was a friend at the time. He's not really a friend anymore. He's a guy that, you know, if he happens to be in the room within seeing distance, I will talk to him, but I am not going anywhere with him. But, um... Yeah, he keeps trying to talk me into taking our cats to the cat show. And I'm like, I don't think Sam's calm enough for that, for one. And if you cannot have your cat on a leash, so you make sure that they don't go anywhere, then, I don't know. I don't like that idea, because, you know, I like to keep my babies where I can find them. I mean, I know their voices, so, like, if there was a room full of cats, I would like to think that I would know my kitty cat's voices. My, well, I call them my kitty babies. Um, I, I think I would like to know, I mean, I would know my kitty baby's voices and be able to pick them out of a lineup, but I don't know. And the problem is, is that I'm pretty sure that all three of my cats are a mixture of one or two cats instead of being, like, one specific breed. Because 
because um, Sam is small for being a Maine Coon, but he's like solid. He he's big. He's big and he's solid like a Maine Coon, and we know he's got like blue gray skin, so he's probably a blue Russian. So I'm thinking he's a blue Russian Maine Coon. But we can't, like, you know, afford to go to the kitty doctor and get that confirmed or anything. Okay, so that's a rainbow trout. Like I said, maybe it's just not evening enough. I don't know. Oh, and it looks like I need a new, um... Elixir. Oh, okay. So I don't get, so I don't have an elixir and I finally get the fish. Okay. We're good. I will have to remember to fish for here and there fish. Um, other times. Okay. So officially. What was the recipe? Okay, so it was... Okay. Oh. I'm like, why is this not working? Helps if you have your um, keyboard on. Okay, so... Asparagus, bell pepper, the here and there fish with the giant eyes, lemon, wait, okay, that's mint, that's basil. Oregano. Okay, we need lemon. Where's lemon? I know we've got lemon. Ah, there we go. We got 2,060 lemon. So we better have lemon. Okay. Ghostly fish steak. Okay, finally. Yay! <laughs> That's the video that we've been trying to make for I don't know how long. Okay. So, um, I think that's all we can do today because the other one was not working, but, um, we can try it one more time. Never hurts to try. Okay. Um, so turn this on, go here. Okay. And okay. So this one Again, oh, this one again is, okay, we're going to try putting in the wheat first. So, wheat, we're going to try it with milk. Just see if maybe they missed an ingredient. Sugar. Slush ice. And drain fruit. See what that comes up with. Really? <laughs> okay, so dream fruit, if, dream fizz is just not working. Um, oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's try it the right way then. I keep doing that. Just, you know, like one more time. Maybe we need to go out of the menu and go back into it or something. You know, silly little trick. Um, sugar. Slush ice. Wheat. 
dream fruit. You know, I was thinking maybe it needs an egg. Yeah, that's just made marvelous jam again. Okay. So it's not working. But we got everything else done. So that's all I care about. We got everything done. Um, we even fed some animals. I'm going to sit down. Um... Oh, so we got some meals done. Remember, the dream for it, fizz is not working. Wait, dream fizz, if you can get it to work, gives you 1,550 energy or more. I don't know what that means, but wow. Um, so it got the ghostly fish steak. We have 188 of 189, uh, meals. All of a sudden it's saying, okay, like this was grayed out earlier. That's weird. Oh, probably because there's a bunch of stuff we haven't made yet. You know, the large blue chest, the medium chest, you know, stuff like that. Um, but really the only thing that would go in a large blue chest is blueberries. I think. Yeah, I think just blueberries. Either way. Okay. Anyway... Um, oh, I haven't actually made a Pixar ball since the first one. Okay. Oh, playful companion pinwheel. Well, this is a big thing anyway, so. I mean, a big video. Oh, so I don't have the orchard, sun, I mean, orchid sunbird. Helps if you read things right. Or the white crocodile. Or the brown raven. Oh. Or the blue raccoon. I don't think I've ever seen the blue raccoon. Or the red fox. I've seen the red fox. But I don't think I've ever seen the blue raccoon. It always says not here today. Um. So for fish... All I'm missing is that festive fugu because I didn't know how to fish for them at the time. So I hope they bring something back to where you can get the festive fugu. Um, wow, I have 616 out of 877 clothing sets. So, so that's pretty cool. I'm missing 27. Out of the Mickey and Friends. Yeah, you're probably looking at me going 877 minus, six, minus 616 is not 27. But um, I'm missing 27 out of the Mickey and Friends set. And that I've got the 1 out of 1 and that I got 6 out of 6. Okay, I'm missing 12 on Wally clothes. Although, I wonder why, if you're wearing brown combat boots, you would not tie them. I'm missing. Okay. Nine out of Moana. Eight out of Ratatouille. Um, nine out of Beauty and the Beast. 
10 out of Wally, I mean, uh, Wreck It Ralph. Um, I missed the number. Nine on Cinderella. Dang, I'm missing a lot of nine. I mean, you know, nine stuff a lot. Uh, 15, 16. Yeah, I think 16 on Lion King. Um, five on Little Mermaid. That's pretty awesome. 10 on Frozen. Um, four, five, six, six for Tangled. And I thought I was going to love that hairdo. I don't think that's the one I loved. <laughs> nine and nine. Eighteen for Monsters, Inc. <sighs> <clears throat> Twenty seven on Toy Story and I don't know what that sound was, but that sounded like somebody was setting off fireworks two months early. Well yeah, two months early. Um two things from Lilo and Stitch. One thing from Encanto. I don't know what. And a bunch of stuff. 335 minus 244. So, um, 86. How to do the math real quick. 86 for general. You know what, I keep, okay, so I've got the controller in my hand, and I've got the um, mouse, and I keep using, I keep trying to use the mouse on the controller thing. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I've gotten a lot of stuff. But I like certain, you know, I like certain outfit pieces, and I don't really like the others. Like, I really do not like that plague mask. This one, I really don't like it. That's creepy. And I wouldn't necessarily wear raven wings. I mean, maybe on Halloween. Oh, I just realized. Okay, so that is a um, no sleeves top. It says it's a t-shirt, but it has no sleeves. Um, anyway, it says purple, good to be bad t-shirt, and it's got Maleficent on it. So I might wear that in October. But I wouldn't necessarily wear that now. Um... And I love this red plaid shirt. Oh, and this one, short cropped natural hair. Uh -uh, I would not wear that. Of course I wouldn't wear things like this either. Not because it's yellow, just because it's a not wrap. I, I I wouldn't wear those. And I don't really like this uh, fedora over here either. It's not that it's a bad fedora. It's just that it's not my style. But I love the red backpack. Okay, so... 
I think we are done. So, just to let you know, I do not like Mike and Sully's apartment. If I get the opportunity to buy it, fine. If I don't, that's fine too. Um, but I do kind of like this, the shirt with this. Not the skirt, not the, well, yeah, I kind of like the watch too. Um, but I like the shirt a little bit. It looks piratey. So it would, you know, like you put that on and then you go and put the, the pirate jacket and if it kept the shirt then that would be great i could buy that right now if i wanted to but i am waiting to see if i'm hoping that shirt comes around again but um right now i'm waiting to see if prince eric's ship comes back because usually the thing that i really super want doesn't come back because i wanted the living room set from the last um, I wanted the living room set from the last star path and I wasn't able to get it. So then I'm like really super bummed now that I didn't get Prince Eric's ship and I just needed, well, I probably needed too many, but, um, I just needed some moonstones and I could have gotten it, but we couldn't afford it. So yeah. Anyway, so that's the end of our video and I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. Know that there's no problem you cannot solve or handle. And I'll see you in the next video.